Hi there. This is the fifth in a series of six videos on National 5 definitions covering waves. If you want to test your knowledge of some of the important definitions, then take a look at this file on my website. You'll see a link to it at the top right hand side of your screen now. Here's the first definition of the video, refraction. Refraction is the change in speed of light as it passes from one material to another. This diagram shows a glass block in air. Here we can see the light bend towards the normal, the dotted line, as it passes from air to glass, and away from the normal as it passes from glass to air. Although light doesn't always change direction during refraction. If the light has an angle of incidence of zero degrees, in other words, straight along the normal line, then there's no change in direction and the light passes straight through. What is happening though, is that the light is changing speed. Three times 10 to the power of eight meters per second in air, and two times 10 to the power of eight meters per second in glass. These values are given in the examinations data sheet, so there's no need to remember them. Next up, we have diffraction. The important difference here is that there's no change in the speed of the wave, and the wave isn't passing from one material to another. Diffraction is the bending of waves at a gap, as shown in this diagram, or obstacle, as shown here. Make sure that you also know how the wavelength of the waves affects how much diffraction takes place. Our next definition is transverse wave. Watch the animation, which should help you remember the definition. Here we have a water wave moving from left to right. The blue dot indicates the position of a single drop of water, making up the wave. As you could see, the wave direction was from left to right, although the motion of the drop of water was up and down. So a transverse wave is a wave in which the particles of the medium, water in this example, vibrate at right angles to the direction the wave is travelling in. As I said earlier, water waves are transverse waves, as are all electromagnetic waves, light, microwaves, radio waves and so on. Next, we have longitudinal waves. And again there's an animation. Here it is. This time the animation represents a sound wave. Again, the wave direction is from left to right, as indicated. The red dot here represents an air molecule which vibrates from left to right. In other words, parallel to the direction of the wave. A longitudinal wave is, therefore, a wave in which the particles of the medium, air in this second example, vibrate parallel to the direction the wave is travelling in. And that's the final definition. We'll end the video by identifying some wave characteristics using the following diagram. First off, we have the crest of the wave, followed by the trough. Hopefully you should see that there are four waves in this diagram. The distance from one crest to the next is one wavelength, although it could be measured between these two points, or from one trough to the next, like so. Finally, the distance from the centre of the wave up to the crest is known as the amplitude. Now, if you're finding these videos useful, then remember to subscribe to my channel to get updates as new videos are released. Tell your classmates, your teacher, and anyone else who will listen, so they can help as many people as possible. Remember, they're free, and free from adverts. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets, and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.